Hi and welcome to Branwin Vlogs episode 3. I'm still here. I'm still feeling quite amazed at how many people have watched the first two episodes on this channel. Um, if you're one of those people, thank you very much. Um, it gives me a sense of great purpose knowing that people are watching. Um, originally when I started vlogging, part of the reason was to capture a record of things that I'm doing at this time of my life so that I can look back in years to come, and that's still the case. Um, but the fact that so many people seem to be watching it is inspiring me to make better vlogs and to keep doing it, so thanks again. And if you would like to, maybe click the subscribe button um, just down below here, the red button, so that you'll get notifications to your YouTube account when I upload a video. That would be awesome. And Maybe give it a thumbs up too. Thank you very much. Spread the word. Um, it's been an interesting week. Uh, I've had the flu in the last seven days, which wasn't fun, um, but I haven't let it stop me. And I've managed to keep going with some of the creative projects, as you will see. I've also been out and about visiting places, and I've been vlogging that as well. Um, so hopefully there's some interesting stuff for you to watch. Um, without further ado, let's go. Hi, so episode two of Bramwin Vlogs is currently uploading and I've been having kind of a bits and bobs kind of a day or two, um, finishing the edit on that and doing some final tweaks, um, trying to make it as interesting as possible, um, as well as things like um, I did a count up of the votes for the next cinematic film, which um, I won't say what it's going to be yet because I'm not 100% sure we thought we knew. And then we discovered that we weren't able to show the film that was currently in the lead, so we've had to have a, a look at the counting again. And also I've just been to school briefly, um, just to play guitar in a GCSE ensemble performance, um, which was fine, it went really well. But it's just always really weird when I go into school on days when I don't work, because I'm only part-time there. So, um, for instance, on a Monday I don't, I don't work, so going in today was strange. I feel like an intruder. Like I'm not supposed to be there or something. It's very weird psychology. Um, but anyway, that happened. And um, at the moment, I'm just about to start work on um, continuing work, should I say, on some of the music for King Arthur. Um, I haven't really talked about the music on these vlogs yet for King Arthur. Um, what's happened is Mum and I have gone through the script and we've chosen songs that we thought appropriate. And then they're mostly songs from the 60s, 70s and 80s. Um, being as it's me and mum choosing, that's probably not surprising. Um, but what I'm doing with them is I'm turning them into kind of contemporary, like EDM type productions um, in the style of like Gaga or Girls Aloud or stuff like that, you know, really kind of full on dance floor pop. Um, and so there are things like, um, let me just show you. <laughs> Trying not to give away what the songs are. Um, but yeah, so fat drums and sidechain bass lines and stuff like that. Um, so I'm about to try and do some music for um, a scene near the end of the play, which I've started, but it's quite complicated because it's actually two songs mashed into one, um, which is fun. But if you come and see the play, you'll see why that happens. Um, it's kind of a climatic moment of the show. Um, anyway, so I'd better get on with that and um, get into some Cubase. Hello, it's Saturday and um, Mum and I <laughs> uh, have just popped over to Theatre Muldan to watch um, the Dreams Dance School production, which I've been meaning to go to for years, but um, I have never managed to until this year. Vicky, who runs Dreams Dance School, she used to go to the school where I teach, and she was always very um, involved in school production. She did some amazing choreography and just coordination of dances for several of the big productions, including um, the infamous Decades concert, which we did in 2007, something like that. Uh, so this is her uh, group, her class that she uh, brings a show to Theatre Muldan every year. Um, another friend, Katina, the multi-talented um, musician, um, she does the musical arrangements and plays uh, the music. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing her and what she does for Part of Dreams. Um, it's always good to come and see something that's done by people that you know, and um, it's always very inspiring to see, especially with so many young people involved. Um, it's good good to get out and see some stuff like this. So very much looking forward to it. Um, it's the weekend. Uh, I haven't done any vlogging for a few days because I've been very much under the flu and just trying to get to work um, and survive that. 
but it's now the weekend I'm feeling a bit better um, and so for the next few days I will hopefully be doing some more interesting creative things and I will vlog as I do them. Okay, Mr. Robin, try not to interfere with my vlog too much. Um, Dreams was awesome. Vicky uh, Atkinson, you should be a very proud lady. That was um, an incredible um, performance. Lots and lots of dancers. Um, really, really well put together production. Um, I've just got home from there. Our friends Lizzie and Neil are coming over in a bit to watch film and have dinner, which would be really nice. Um, since I've been home, I've got a message, a really exciting message from Lisa Fletcher, um, who is going to be singing one of the covers uh, that I'm working on. And she's um, provisionally booked a weekend. Um, she just needs to book the train and organise coming up, um, which is very exciting. Um, really nice to have like a date in mind for that. Um, we might even sneak in a second song when she's here as well, which would be really good if we can manage that. Also, I put out um, a call on Facebook this morning asking if anyone had a location in Cardiff, um, a house or a flat, um, that we might be able to use for the Starkey video. Um, and a couple of possibles already, uh, which is quite exciting. I didn't think anybody would respond because it's kind of a bit of an ask. Um, can we borrow your house to film in? It's not just like a couple of people come around for a cup of tea, but I'm excited that a few people have responded. So it feels like that is moving possibly a step closer to reality. Um, I haven't really started planning the actual storyboards or anything like that for that video yet. Um, I don't generally do that until I know what location I'm going to use, just so that I know it's kind of for real and going to happen. Um, but hopefully over the next few days I'll find out more about that and um, then I can vlog the sort of the beginning stages of pre-production for that video because uh, I want to get started with it. Guess who's here? Guess who's here? <laughs> Sia is here and it's incredibly exciting because she's brought loads of books which are here. Lots of books. Loads of books with lyrics and stuff. Can you see them? <laughs> I'm not really showing you very well. There you go. Um, <laughs> full of lyrics. Um, one of those books in particular has great historical value for me. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's very... It's a bit mashed. Yeah, it's been well used um, in the past. <laughs> and so we're looking at lyrics that Sia's already started for the song Body Parts, which is the Starkey project I've been talking about. Um, we've also provisionally booked a date in April for recording the music and guide vocal, which is really exciting to actually have a date set. Um, we've also been talking about the two locations that have been already offered in Cardiff, which is, again, super exciting. And I'm really, like, amazed that people volunteer their homes so willingly <laughs> <laughs> the fools, um, for us to go and make uh, a complete disaster. No, honestly, we will leave it exactly as we find it. Um, but yeah, we're also looking at dates for filming. So it's all happening, which is very exciting. Um, so after I've looked at these lyrics later on, I'll vlog again to tell you just how amazing they are, because <laughs> they will be. Pressure. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure whatsoever. Anyway, I'm going to go and find out my future. <laughs> Bye! Yes, the lyrics were brilliant, of course they were, and um, I'm very much looking forward to four weeks' time when we can turn it into a song. Uh, it's Mother's Day. Mother's here. Hello! And we thought we'd pop out for a quick walk to the wildlife reserve at Tyvee Marshes, which is somewhere where we like to come a lot. We've been coming a lot lately since we saw um, starling murmurations over the winter, and we also saw a bittern here not long ago, which was kind of exciting. And what? And a fox. A fox here. I saw a fox here. Oh yeah, Dad saw, a, Dad saw a fox here this week.
So there we are. That's the end of another episode. Um, I'll be back again next week, all being well, with another edition of Brown Wind Vlogs. Um, hopefully I'll see you then. Thank you very much for watching. And until then, have fun.